Andy Marty! Yeah. When a thousand cooks, housekeepers, servers, and bartenders walked off the job at Taj Mahal more than a month ago, they promised to strike for as long as it took to get a fair contract. Unite Here Local 54 organized noisy, passionate picket lines and struck on July 1st at the start of the high season, applying financial pressure. It's horrible that they left us no other option. This is the only thing that they understand on a July 4th weekend where they could be making millions and millions of dollars. They're trying to step on our necks when we're down. They offered us a health plan that was just not even close to the health plan the other casinos uh, have. But the landscape shifted dramatically today when management announced it would close the Taj Mahal after Labor Day weekend, noting currently the Taj is losing multi-millions a month and now with this strike we see no path to profitability. If Taj folds, it would cut another operating casino out of Atlantic City's boardwalk lineup, leaving only seven, and end the long and bitter struggle by Local 54 against Taj's owner, billionaire investor Carl Icahn. How petty, union president Bob McDevitt said, calling Icahn so one-dimensional. The great deal-maker would rather burn the Trump Taj Mahal down just so he can control the ashes. For a few million bucks, he could have had labor peace and a content workforce, but instead he'd rather slam the door shut on these long-term workers just to punish them and attempt to break their strike. Icon has threatened to close the Taj Mahal before in the face of union objections. In October 2014, he got a federal judge's approval to terminate workers' health and pension benefits despite pushback from politicians. Atlantic City is th going through some very troubling times right now, and we acknowledge that. But it's not times for billionaires like Mr. Icon to step to put their foot on the throats of workers and to try to take their benefits. That dark year, a contracting economy and oversaturated market forced four casinos to close, plunged Atlantic City deep into financial crisis. This past June, four of the remaining eight casinos reached contract settlements with Local 54. The agreements breathed new life into Caesars Entertainment's Atlantic City properties, including Harrah's, Caesars and Bally's, and Tropicana, but not with Taj. No new contract talks are scheduled. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.